Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we're going to be diving into the PUBG PGC 2021 series and the new Pick'em Challenge, which is where you and I can vote on which teams we think are going to perform the best to uh, win points. Those points can then be redeemed in the esports point shop for brand new skins like the P90 and the butt pan and all that kind of good stuff. So in today's video, I'm going to break down how that system works, how to vote, when to vote, and what are the most likely teams that I think are going to win. Now, before we go over the actual tournament system, let's just take a look at what we're going to be playing for. So first we can head over to the store and this is where you're going to see all of the brand new purchasable skins. If we go to a store PGC, these are the skins that are only going to be available during the PGC tournament. And you can, they can be purchased with G coin, which if you don't know, there's a, a two times bundle G coin going on. Check out my most recent video before this one to learn how you can get double the G coin for the price of one. And once you purchase said skins, all these skin packs come with voting coupons. Those voting coupons are what you need to place your votes for the teams in the next challenge. So here, for instance, is the entire PGC 2021 mega bundle. Plus it comes with 60. Holy cow. I'm just seeing that six, zero 60 voting coupons i think that's the most they've ever had like ever wow okay so you get all the clothing you get the barrel weapon skin i preview the weapon you get the barrel weapon skin you get all the clothing you get this badass gloves those are really really cool you get the m4 the level two back or vest rather the parachute i mean the whole nine yards excuse me that's actually really dope that whole setup is really cool that's 6,000 G coin. You can also do the uh, contingent chaos duster bundle, which only comes with the barrel and some of the clothing, the mask, etc., and 25 voting coupons. You could do this one, which comes with this skin outfit, the M4, the gloves and 25 voting coupons. And then the uh, emote, the dancing emote, excuse me, PUBG, the dancing emote, which is one voting coupon. So if your heart desired, you technically could buy all of these and get 60 plus 50. So you get 110 plus one, 111 voting coupons. I don't recommend you guys doing that. Uh, but of course, if you do use creator appreciation code, uh, CDOM at checkout, creator code CDOM, make sure you link <clears throat> to support your favorite PUBG content creator. Anyways, buy those to get your voting coupons. Then you take your voting coupons over to the esports tab here. And this is where we're going to place our votes with our voting coupons. Go to the pick them challenge here. And there are going to be multiple ways you can get voting coupons. Number one is the way I just showed you how you can go and buy things. Number two is you can watch PUBG's live stream which uh, they have a link somewhere in here. Um, here we go, right here. So if we go over to uh, overview, we, we clock over to events right here. You can click here to learn more. And basically it brings you to the Twitch live stream link of PUBG. When they stream these matches, if you watch the PUBG stream, each player can earn up to 100,000 eSport points, which can then be redeemed in the esports point shop. So one last stop before we go to the actual voting section is the esport point shop. Yeah, it's, it's a twisty word mouth vomit that we got going on over here. So if you use your coupons and you guess the correct teams, and that means you're going to win esport points, you can then use those esport points to buy these skins. They have the, uh, what I think is one of the best looking skins ever in PUBG. The Contingent Chaos P90 looks absolutely phenomenal. And unfortunately, it also comes right on the heels of PUBG saying they're going to nerf, make some changes to the P90, which is which is unfortunate. But anyway, so that skin's available. Uh, they got the fancy pantsy butt pan. Very, very cool. They've got the level three helmet. Also pretty neat. Not the best one I've seen, but I think it's cool. I like the designs and the textures and stuff. 
uh, level three backy packy. Clean. The Uez, which I think is really well done. I love this one. Love, 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 love that one. That's really clean. Uh, nickname change and hairstyle 28. So now that you've seen what you can win and what you can purchase to unlock, now let's go ahead and learn how to actually vote. So you're going to go to the Pick'em Challenge and you're going to see there's five columns here. I know my head's blocking it, but when you go to your screen, you'll see there's Ranked Decision, Week 1, Week 2, Week 3, and Week 4 is right under here. Each of those tabs has two different chances to vote. So we go to Ranked Decision here and you look in the middle. Make sure you claim your free coupon over here. It'll show how many voting coupons you have to use here. And we'll have two different cha chances to vote. First is the weekly final top four right here. <clears throat> the weekly final top four allows you to guess which teams you think are going to get the top four at the end of that weekly final series. So you can guess more than four times, but you can get points for up to four correct guesses. So if I click on cast votes. It's going to bring all the teams that are eligible for us to vote on. And again, we can choose up to eight votes per event but only four of them can win. And you see, here's the points that you can win here. 100,000 for the first place team, 50,000 for the second place team, third place and fourth place. The maximum amount of points you can earn is 187,000. That's if you guess all four teams correctly, uh, first, second, third, fourth place. So having said that, what you're needing to guess here is not what teams you think are going to have the most kills, but which teams do you think are going to get the most points, which typically means which teams are going to win the most games. Now, because no teams have played any matches thus far, this is, this is the week before week one matches. So we have no idea, no stats to go off of, which is what I usually give you guys stats on their previous week to uh, have an educated guess on which teams to vote for. What we have to do is either A, blindly guess, or B, what I prefer to do is use the most recent tournament, the PCS5 series tournament, and use those stats and those rankings to give us a really good idea of which teams we think are going to perform the best here in the opening week of the PGC. So having said that, these are the teams that I would vote for, uh, for the PGC weekly final top four. Uh, let's see. I'd go Petrocore Gaming, Virtus, Sonics, and BN. Bao Nam. I'll, I'll say that again. Petrocore, Virtus, Sonics, and BN. And in those order, and in, in, in that order is what I would actually vote on. So if you only have one coupon like me, I would vote Petrocore first. If you have two coupons, I'd, I'd vote Petrocore and Virtus. Three coupons, I'd throw in uh, Sonics in there. They're here. Four coupons, I'd throw in Bao. Uh, five coupons, I would throw in Archangel. And if you had six coupons, I would throw in Oath as well. So those are the teams I'd vote for uh, in that order to be the most likely ones to place first, second, third, and fourth place during the weekly final top four. For the weekly hey, kill point listen. MVP, this is which team you think is going to have the most kills. Now, going back to the PCS5 stats, Sonics is rated as the number one team at 227 kills. TSM, second place, 213 kills. Oath, in third place with 208 kills. Unicorn, in fourth place with 206 kills. Petrichor with 184 and then Navi with 173. So a key point to remember is that on this weekly kill point MVP, you can only guess correctly one team. There's only one chance to win, but you can vote up to eight times. So you could use eight coupons here, but only one of them has a chance of winning. But if it does win, you get 150,000 points. You with me so far? Hope not losing you. If I am losing you, let me know in the comments below. And I know it's, it's a lot to take in. If you're not used to the uh, pick'em challenge stuff. So I'll, I'll repeat that again. For this weekly kill point MVP, I would vote in this order. Sonic, TSM, Oath, 
Unicorn, Petrichor, and Navi. I wouldn't honestly vote on all six of those teams, but if you have just a, you know, a boatload of coupons and you want to use them, that's the order that I would vote in. Uh, my last asterisk is again a reminder that this, the vote you're making right now is before any of these teams play any PGC matches. So we're going based off our best educated guess. When we get to the week one here, in week two, and week three, and week four, we'll be able to base our votes on the previous week's stats, which will give us a much better opportunity to guess correctly, in my opinion. So uh, I guess to wrap the video up and just to kind of bring this thing to a close, vote with caution for the rank decision here because you're voting before you've seen any of these teams play. Um, I would not go crazy and use all of your coupons in this first section. I would wait to, you know, week one, week two, week three, week four, when we have some better stats to go off of to really have a good understanding of how each team has been playing to have an educated decision on how we think they're going to play on the next event. So th that should help you increase your odds. Uh, and then of course, don't forget to watch the uh, official PUBG esports stream to get the free esport points. And uh, what else? Lastly, just, just kind of keep in mind which skin you're going for. If you're going for just one P90 skin and you don't care about anything else, well then, hey, you know you only need to get 120,000 points, which means if you come to the rank decision, weekly kill point MVP, and you vote on eight teams, you know, using the list that I just gave you, your chances to get one of those right is pretty darn high. And you get one right and boom, you got 150,000 points and that's enough for you to go and get the one skin that you wanted to go get. So just kind of think, uh, keep that in mind from like a strategic standpoint. Uh, okay, so I think that wraps it up for the PGC Pick'em Challenge video. As a reminder, I'll be making this video every week going down, breaking over, uh, going over and breaking down each team's stats and which teams I think are going to do the best in the following weeks. Um, today is Friday. So you're seeing this video Saturday morning, right? Yeah, Saturday morning. Um, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Be sure to share it with your buddies who are also, I'm sure, going to be needing some help in the Pick'em Challenge. Get subscribed and turn that bell on if you haven't already so you can be notified of the weekly videos we've got coming up. And last but not least, for those who have not followed me on Twitter, I made a big announcement today, the biggest announcement I've ever made. Uh, so I'll share it with you here. And I know some of you have already seen this, so sorry for the duplicate, but <clears throat> my wife and I are expecting our first child. Uh, Baby Dome is coming May 2022. Uh, we are beyond excited and ecstatic. And uh, if, if you guys have already reached out, you know, on Twitter or DMs or whatever, and said congratulations, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate it. We are so excited. This year, 2021 has been insane. Obviously, you know, coronavirus and all that kind of stuff, but we got married. We bought our first house. My wife graduated with her master's degree, started her new career, and... Now we got a little bun hey, in the oven. Listen. So some pretty exciting times, some exciting stuff. And I appreciate you guys supporting the channel along the journey. All right. So that's it. That's all I got for you today, guys. I'll see y'all, I don't know, in a couple of days on the YouTube channel. Or if you come to my live stream at twitch.tv slash C underscore dome. I'm there four days a week. A scratch. Peace.